Okay, let's jump into talking about power functions and how we define a power function is a monomial, a single term that we can rewrite as some number, some constant here, a real number multiplied by our variable. In this case, we're using x raised to another constant. Um, the variable out in front or the number out in front is referred to as the coefficient. All right, so let's identify which are and are not um, power functions or can be rewritten as power functions. Now, all of these over on the left-hand side, these are actually all power functions or can be rewritten as such. All right, so the constant function is usually a kind of difficult one, but what we want to do on a lot of these is we're just going to be referring back to some exponent rules. If you'll recall, we can rewrite anything raised to the zero power is equivalent to one. So this is a power function. We have one as the coefficient out in front multiplied by x to the zero power. Next one, the uh, identity function is just x or x to the first power. Again, one out in front. Quadratic function, x squared, pretty obvious, I think. x cubed, the cubic function. Then we get to the reciprocal function. Again, a little bit of review on our exponent rules. You're allowed to move this x up to the numerator from the denominator by switching the sign on the exponent. So we can write this as one multiplied by x to the negative first power. The reciprocal squared function, the one over x squared, again, same exponent rule, you can rewrite this as x to the negative second power. So we can think of that as being a power function as well. Then we get into just quick review over some of our um, exponent rules. We've got a square root function. You may recall that this has a two out here in the index um, for this radical. And this can be rewritten as x raised to the one over two power. Similarly, the cube root function is x raised to the one over three power. Just real quickly off to the side here, we can rewrite any of these if you look at the index on the radical, and then whatever exponent this is raised to, we'll call it m. These can be rewritten as x to the m over n as a rational uh, exponent. All right, let's take a look at three more real quickly and see are these or are these not going to be power functions or at least equivalent to power functions. On this first one, f of x, everything's being multiplied together. So what we're allowed to do is multiply our constants together. So two times four makes eight. And then to combine our exponents together, we have two copies of x multiplied by three more copies of x. This is the situation that we add our exponents together. And two plus three is gonna make five for our new exponent. Since it's a single term, a monomial, we have a number out in front multiplied by x to a power. We can answer yes, this is a power function. This next one's a little bit different, that this is separated by an addition. If you have two terms separated by an addition or subtraction in between, you have two separate terms. If you are allowed to combine them together, if they're like terms, they would have x raised to the exact same exponent. That's not the situation on this. We are not allowed to combine these terms together. So we'd have to say, since we can't combine them into a single term, this is not a power function. Also on h of x down here at the bottom, we can't do any nice simplifying down here. Um, you can only simplify our fractions if you have factors, um, multiplication basically up in the numerator and in the denominator to be able to cancel things out. In this case, I don't think we're gonna get any nice um, factoring to be done in this case. So we're not gonna be able to simplify into a single term. So we're gonna have to answer no as far as is this a power function or not on this one as well. All right, hope this helps clear up whether we have power functions or we don't have power functions. Good luck.